Well, nonprofits here in the Metro work hard to help the community in so many ways. And leaders came together today to talk about challenges and solutions. KETV Newswatch 7's Quinicia Fraser was there and has this story. Court Appointed Special Advocates, or CASA, works to support abused and neglected children in Douglas County. The advocates are all volunteers. So the challenges we see since COVID, there's been a dwindle of people actually volunteering long term. And because CASA requires a two year commitment, it's a difficult feat for those to take time off of work, to do the number of hours necessary to serve the children that are in the foster care system. CASA's Executive Director, Kimberly Barnes, says now they're utilizing existing volunteers volunteers to recruit younger potential advocates. Right now our base typically is the you know the middle age or those retirees and so we really need the influx of younger volunteers to actually come in and take space where the current volunteers are. Barnes talked about the future of volunteering at this year's Future of Human Care Symposium at UNO Scott Conference Center. The amount of mental and behavioral health uh, needs that are, are, are kind of not only here locally but across the region uh, continue to grow and expand. CEO of Lutheran Family Services Chris Tonages says in the last five years, nonprofits have had to get more creative when it comes to funding. And he says nonprofit leaders need to work together to make a bigger impact. As opposed to kind of seeing each other as, as competitors, which in the nonprofit space, we really don't have any competitors because the need is so, so dramatic and so high. And he knows the community's needs aren't going away anytime soon. In Omaha, Quinicia Fraser for KETV Newswatch 7.